Maple potato. Can I be sad for a sec? Dang it. Can I talk about something sad? Is that okay? Yeah. Can I talk about something sad? Get sad. Um, so Ian Holm died a little while ago. Mm. And if you don't know who that is, you'll probably recognize him as um, Bilbo Bagging, Baggins in the Lord of the Rings movies. Not The Hobbit, obviously. Um, mm -hmm. In Yeah, in Lord of the Rings, he plays Bilbo Baggins. Mm -hmm. um, and he was just wonderful. Yeah. And um, it was like, I'm not... <sighs> I'm not one to really get super broken up about celebrity deaths. I think there's a point at which it becomes like kind of disrespectful to get like super broken up about this person you never met. It's like, you know, their their family's the one who should be grieving. I think that when it comes to celebrity deaths or people you've never met, I think it's I think it's appropriate to feel sad. There's an appropriate, yeah. There's I think an appropriate level of sadness. There is absolutely an appropriate level of sadness, especially for someone that like affected affected your life in, in yeah. a way. I think that that you know that's you I'm can not, be sad. You can I'm be not sad to that, say that like can. this person isn't adding a little more joy to the world anymore. Mm -hmm. You can sure. definitely be sad about that. You know, we all have very important people in our lives. So yeah. Um, but Ian Holm actually did. Like, I did feel pretty sad about that one because he also uh, played Frodo Baggins in the uh, BBC radio adaptation of The Lord of the Rings. And this was produced in, like, the 80s, I think? And it is just magical. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. It's so... I... It's... It's old enough that it was originally released on cassette tapes, which is pretty freaking old <laughs> at this point. Um, I have, I don't have the cassettes. I have CDs of it. It's like 10 CDs in yeah. a giant pack. Yeah, that's, that's how yeah. old it is. It, it's, it's more, I think it's more than 10. I think it's like 14 CDs because they could only fit like 45 minutes of content onto a CD when they did this. It's our favorite thing to listen to on our road trips. It is. Maple and I alone have listened to it probably like four or five times together mm -hmm. all the way through. And so, just on road trips. Um, when I was younger, I had, I still, I still have some vision issues, but like not, not seriously. I can drive and stuff. But when I was younger, I had pretty serious vision issues. And so reading was always pretty difficult for me. And so my mom would buy me a bunch of like radio play adaptations of things because we didn't have audiobooks really back then. Yeah. At least not digital ones. Yeah. And so she bought me these CDs and I listened to them every single night since like age like nine or ten. Every night I went to sleep with the voice of Ian Holm. And up until I was into my like mid to late teens, and even then, in my teenage years, I didn't listen to it as much, but I still did listen to it. And so, I yeah, I grew up with Ian Holm's voice uh, playing Frodo Baggins, and so it was just really sad. He did so, much, so many wonderful things for... Um, acting and theater in general he had to stop acting for a little while um uh, but yeah anyway yeah. i just wanted to share that that was that that was actually pretty sad and there are i guess there are some celebrity deaths that i'm i'm willing to feel sad about <laughs> no oh, it is sad even though you didn't know that person personally i mean it's sad that they're not no longer adding things to the world mm-hmm like that that is sad he like impacted you i mean you brought those cds from canada keep in mind from when Mo england <laughs> yeah yeah you got rid of a lot of your old stuff yeah when i moved it was like it was like what do i need to bring yeah what do i need the because there's a lot of stuff that i had left and had brought over later yeah because i was like well i want this stuff but i can't like i packed up two it, suitcases like it, what's going on a plane ride yeah like to, that's to move thing. first and then i was like i'll sort out the rest later so i had two suitcases worth of stuff and a cat yeah and a cat yeah. <laughs> i flew with a cat it was the worst yeah she was <laughs> she was pretty mad yeah so these cds w went like they came with you didn't they they came with me in yeah. my suitcases in, in the my suitcases 
like the in my like these, these are the things are I cannot be without my most important worldly possessions. Mm-hmm. These CDs made it into my suitcases with and like my clothes and no easy feet. And other these shit CDs, I needed. These this is CDs a big, were a it's a big lot. case of CDs. Yeah, and the whole the whole it's just beautiful. If you have never listened to it, try and find it. Like you mm-hmm. can, you can still get it. Um. I, th- I think you can get it on like a- even Amazon and stuff. I don't think you even have to go eBay diving. Yeah, I don't. I think that <clears> it's pretty easy to find. Um, because they created a an original score for it, so it's not like the movie music. They the the if you don't know the BBC is the British uh, Broadcasting Corporation, and they did a ton of really fantastic radio content. Yeah, like just wonderful stuff uh back when like radio was the thing the thing for entertainment and so they had it was a full voice actor cast with the original scores and sound effects the narrator is great too dude yes the narrator is freaking amazing Mm -hmm. yeah he does a great job hey thanks for watching the whole video we appreciate you so much if you'd like to support us the best way is to leave us a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more every week. See you next time.